inner voice. Easy, right? So the responsibility of this inner voice is to do one thing, and that's to play it safe. It's to make you survive. Don't step outside of your comfort zone. Don't do anything more than you have to. And don't try, because if you don't make it, you'll get made fun of. I call it the what ifs. We've got them what if syndromes. Right? What if? And that what if voice tried to come in my mind last night when I was preparing for this. And I'm sitting there typing and I'm putting everything together and I'm excited about all this. That what if voice, what if voice was like, man, what, what do you think you can do? Why can you, why can you go tell people that they can do anything that they want to? Thomas, you know that you didn't read your first book until you graduated college. <laughs> man, you ain't making it. You still got a long way to go to be quote unquote successful. You ain't Oprah, you ain't Magic Johnson, you ain't these people. What gives you the right? So I figured it out. I named that voice. You have to literally name the voice. And my voice's name is Hunk. Think about it. You send somebody a text message. You write this long text message and all of a sudden they wait for a little bit, maybe an hour, and you're waiting for a prompt response. And all of a sudden, they just go, huh? <laughs> How's that going to make you feel? It's going to make you feel like, dang, I don't even really matter. You're not seeing me? So that is the same thing that I had to do with that voice. Name, huh? 